Hot air balloons are returning to the sky. This for the 35th year of the Hudson Hot Air Affair. It's happening this weekend. And the theme this year is rockin' with the coldies. Sheila Reeves in Hudson this morning. Sheila, so much excitement for this. Uh, look at that. Sh that. Do you have a pink ladies jacket on? Do you? Um, yes, Heather. Okay. Let me show it off. Want to make you sure. can call me Gladys this morning. <laughs> they have given me a new name, a new name, a new jacket. Um, I guess maybe a new attitude. Elvis has also left the building this morning. Elvis. Thank you very much. Music too. I know your your guitar here is a classic. I love it. So we are here getting a, a lay of the land of what you can expect when you come to Hudson this weekend. I'm here with Steve LeMay and John uh, Knutson. Knutson, Knutson. They have been here since the very beginning, and I am so excited because this is really the star of the show. We're getting a sampling of what you will see when you come to Hudson this weekend. Well, Steve, for starters, tell me where I'm standing and what people. People will get to see when they come visit this weekend. Right now, you're standing in the basket. Above it, we have the burners. <laughs> uh, and you're, we're missing the envelope on top. There'll be, I understand, 30 to 35 balloons here. And uh, basically, from most of them are from the Upper Midwest. Yes, uh, Upper Midwest represented here when you come to visit for the annual Hudson Hot Air Affair. And this is great because. You've been a part of this since the very beginning. Tell me what is so special for you to be here, to be back, and for 35 years. Well, we started this event back in 1990 as a community event in the middle of winter. To, you know, everybody gets a little uh, cabin fever about this time of year. So the hot air affair is always the first full weekend in February because Farmer's Almanac says the lowest winds of the winter are this weekend. So it makes it more conducive for flying. And when you are here and you see all of the balloons in motion, you're going to have 30 of them this weekend. How do you feel when you see all of those balloons lined up, all of your hard work uh, creating this moment uh, for everyone to come together? What do you feel? Uh, it's incredible. You know, we have about 15,000 people that come uh, for the three days of the weekend. We start with a torchlight parade tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, and there will be probably four to 5,000 people crowded around for about a three block parade, but it's it's awesome. Seeing the kids' faces with parents and grandparents and everything. The theme this year is rocking with the coldies. That's why we got Elvis here. We've got the pink ladies around us, including you, Gladys. <laughs> so it's it's just a spectacular event for the people in the in the St. Croix Valley. So exciting. Thank you so much, John, for spending a little bit of time with me. Steve, thank you for joining me too. So Thank you. So the logistics, of course, they spend a lot of time preparing to bring a show like this together. We're going to be talking to some of the event organizers, talking about some of the other activities you can experience in addition to the balloons when you come to Hudson. All of that and more straight ahead in the next half hour. Uh, Gladys here signing off, Heather. Gladys, uh, <laughs> Gladys, Steve uh, really uh, shocked and <laughs> He sets that fire. I, I don't, that's a lot of power. <laughs> yes, yes, a lot of power here, Heather. Ooh. Is it warm in there, Sheila? In the, in the balloons? Oh, yes. So warm, you don't even need your hand warmers. Oh, my gosh. You can put them away for the season, Heather. All right, yes. great. Yeah.